to a new year. I'm sorry, I have been very sick in this one so far. Uh, pretty much came down with a really bad cold and I really hardly ever get sick, but um, it was very difficult to film. So one of my first videos this year that I did film was my dinner and a movie Ratatouille video. I really wanted to uh, do a you are what you eat presentation and maybe some of you guys want to get on get healthy this year so there uh, came that video and then I wanted to do my favorites and it, I might have to do that mid-January um, just because I'm trying to get well that being said I thought I'd do a video um, you know how to make yourself look well when you're under the weather type of video finally feeling well enough to show my face on camera and um, I tried to take it easy, but you all <laughs> probably know me by now that taking a five day hiatus is quite a week for me. So um, that being said, I didn't go to work this past week because I couldn't even film. So it was quite a vacation for me. And I was even told by my boyfriend, it's quite sad you look at <laughs> being sick as a vacation. And I was just like, I think it's my body telling me I need to like slow down because I've done I've tried to do way too much and sometimes I get like that I try to be way too ambitious and because I think if I'm not um, I'm being lazy <laughs> and um, I'm just like very disciplined that way and I did do some cooking and I've been watching a lot of Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown and um, I know a lot of people have been telling me like I don't know why you're watching he's like the antithesis of a vegan and I totally get that what I love about watching Anthony Bourdain is that he has this uh, love of life and um, love of seeing new things and trying new things and uh, that's basically what I watch that and things I don't know about <laughs> so I've uh, been doing that and just trying to get better for you guys all right so let's get into this video this video is uh, how to pretty much look effortless when you're feeling pretty sick and um, how to put together somewhat a little bit more than a no makeup look but at the same time it's still makeup that even people could wear every day on the weekends it's fast it's easy it's fun to do does it require energy which is the key ingredient to putting together a makeup look when you're under the weather you don't want to use all your energy when you have very little so I'm not saying go lie in bed with you know a little bit of makeup on oh unless it makes you feel good then that's cool too you know it's not fun to be strapped to your bed so I'll see you guys. Um, yeah, I am feeling a little bit more me. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs> so to get started on today's look, I've already taken 100% pure organic coffee bean, caffeine, um, eye cream, the steep puffs, de stresses, nutrients for the eyes, and yes, skincare under makeup is essential to get that very smooth texture and surface for the makeup. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Eye Base. And because I've been kind of under the weather lately, this will really kind of help to uh, rejuvenate my eyes. It has a wax base, so it really helps the eyeshadows stick on without the, um, the need for silicone, which severely irritates my eyes. For those of you who got this year's Christmas, the Labelle Carousel, you can follow along with me. If you have any other uh, neutrals in your collection, go ahead and take those as well. I'm going to be taking Tufted Suede, which actually I think came in the Boudoir Eyes palette, but I pretty much used up that, so I'm kind of glad to have a second, because Too Faced doesn't really sell a lot of individual shadows at the moment. Now I'm going to be taking Angel Hair. I like to do either a soft shadow across the lid or a cream shadow, just something really easy and effortless that doesn't require you to be a makeup artist by any means. Sometimes if you had like a really bad cold, the worst thing to do is put like a lot of objects near your eyes. This will kind of cause them to water and become even more irritated or in the event that you're very sneezy, have itchy runny eyes, I don't like to create a look that's going to just look really bad when it's coming off. I'd rather look almost a little more blank faced than I normally would and have people even inquire about me being sick um, just because they know if I'm feeling well I would have done a full face. But the whole idea is to try to look as healthy um, as possible. Sometimes it's not really going to work if you just look inherently pale. But I'm going to be taking Josie Moran's um, Argon Tinted Moisturizer. And the reason I'm taking this one is because it is kind of sheer 
and lightweight. My face is very dry right now that I've been like sick because I have been taking the opportunity to do a lot of masks on my days off and I haven't really been able to follow through with a full facial with moisturizer just because I haven't had the energy, which is very bad. So my skin is very dry. This moisturizer is really created for those with drier skin, so if my skin is a little oilier that week, this will not adhere nicely at all. Today it's just like, drink me put me on and of course you could still see the natural skin through a little bit so that will give you some life sometimes a full coverage foundation counteracts life which is really why I'm not a fan of them anymore that and I think they look a little dry concealer Don't need to overpowder your face, just kind of like let it let it go, let it hydrate a little bit. Um, sometimes if you kind of overset and overpack your face, if um, any like water or tears or watery eyes or whatever do kind of come out onto your face, it's going to leave a major line of demarcation. So just lightly pat that on and um, let your, if you can't control it, put control into your makeup. Worst part about being sick, the dry chap lips. Just be sure to sanitize them every day as you get better. We're just going to dip into this once. You don't really want to put a ton of makeup on your face when you're sick. Also because you don't want to contaminate your products. So we're not going to do a ton of dipping. As I stated, the one thing you're lacking when you're ill is color. Especially if you're my color. So we're just going to take a little bit of bronzer. This is Too Faced Endless Summer. 16 hour wear. It's extremely easy to do and put on. Like I said, you don't want to lock down too much of your makeup if you're not feeling well and your symptoms take over because it'll leave a line of demarcation. So we're not going to go in with um, contour because then we'd have to really be sure to set the face perfectly so that all the colors sit on the skin pretty. This is very light bronzer, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to be taking the Hot Mama from the Bomb blush. This is just a little darker than NARS Orgasm. Lefem Cosmetics can be found at really great beauty stores or beauty supply stores, just not Sally's Beauty Supply Store. They sell their own Palladio. You can also find this on Camaretti Cosmetics if you're feeling better. A little more. It's all in the cheeks, it's all in the face. It doesn't have to be in the eyes at all. And then boom, instant glow. Just think more of what you would have worn in middle school. A very beautiful, simple look to maybe cover breakouts, to maybe cover redness in your skin or face, or uh, just to cover up oil, or just to have a perfect shield, like that perfect look. No need to contaminate all your lipsticks. Just when you're done, re-top off with your favorite chapstick. Mine's Clean Cauldron Peppermint Lip Balm. If you have a lip tint from her, you can always go for that as well. Something that you can either shave, cut, or sanitize easily. You don't want to use a lip gloss one. Um, but because my lips are so dehydrated right now and I've exfoliated them a ton, this is as good as it gets. So as for my hair, um, I'm just going to keep it somewhat... Um, undone a little bit, a little hippie chic, um, obviously styled and finished. So the products I used to start my hair off were the Desert Ascents uh, Coconut Hair Defrizzer and Heat Protector. I bought this when I went brunette to keep my hair from getting too blonde. Um, some of the brunette has faded naturally because it always will when you have a lighter uh, color still in your hair. Um, but I kind of, I like it and I don't. Sometimes I want it darker, but um, this smells so good. And it reminds me of some sort of a, I think it was a Videl Sassine spray that they made in the early 90s. It smelled just like this, but this is pure, all pure. And then um, this actually was sent to me. This is in a sponsored video. I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it's made my hair very smooth and very beautiful. And it's the Argandor um, Das Gold 
Morocco's Cosmetic Argan Oil. You can use this on your face, supposedly, hair, whatever. Um, I cannot fathom having dry enough skin to put this on my face, but to each his own. Uh, it expires in 12 months, absorbs well, you can put it on your nails, your body, um, mix it with your lotions, it does have vitamin E in it. So I'll put a link to, down to the bottom bar, giving this a great review, of course. Um, I definitely think it deep conditions very beautifully and gives a very quick, soft, dry blowout. Like I said, I'm purposefully using, um, I purposefully blue dried only half my hair, just like the top, so it had direction, and then left the rest kind of unfinished because I'm really loving those really kind of sh hippie, chic, undone hairstyles lately. get quite oily but I still want to keep all those oils and nutrients in my hair because it's what keeps it from breaking off and looking damaged. There you go. All that fun. So um, yeah and then I just popped on a really bright color to wear because uh, it kind of gives my face some color as well. So yeah, and it just kind of makes you feel better to see that brightness. Mine has like a little owl on the pocket and stuff and, you know. And then I just have on some dollhouse jeans that are kind of worn. Um, and if you have like the chills or whatever, you can put leggings underneath. Really look fashionable and comfortable and nobody would ever really know that you're not feeling well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time, next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one.